Now we're going to talk about bow weight. The language needs to be simple. I don't like complex language and I don't like using numbers because there's too many numbers in music. Beat numbers, bar numbers, all those things. But um, I like simple language. So now I'm just going to use the language of medium heavy bow weight, heavy bow weight, light bow weight, medium light, very light, and very or very heavy. Okay? So those are very simple kind of language things. Watch the weight. We can change our bow weight. Bow weight causes the bow to sink into the string. So I'll set my bow on the D string in the middle and I'll transfer the weight through my arm, wrist, and fingers and allow the bow to sink into the string. I can see the stick getting closer to the horse hair. Then I can allow the weight to release and as it releases through my fingers, wrist, and arm, the stick returns to its natural position. Okay, so the idea is how do you get the weight into the string? You get the weight into the string by downward pressure. Again, string teachers hate that word. They like to use weight, so on and so forth, but it's, that's in essence what it is. Downward weight and you do that by the whole hand can come down, the arm can bring it down, it can be index finger that helps with that, so on and so forth. But the, idea, the key is to do, let that weight go in without tightening the, uh, your grip on the bow. That's what they do as they go down. Let's try it, everybody. Okay, weight. We're gonna set on the D string, mezzo forte lane, and I want you to just let the bow weight come down into the string. There you go. Now try to relax your hand as you do it. That's the trick. All right? So we've got weight in the string. We're just going to pull and release. Ready? Go. Okay? Try it again. S start about in the, you can start in the, might be easier to start in the lower third of the bow for right now. All right, let's let the weight go down into the string. And you actually make the, the stick touch the hair. And then you pull, and as you pull it, let's release it a little bit. Ready, go. Bravo. So depending on how much you let the stick go down or out, that's adding weight or releasing the weight. The next problem is you get kids at the tops of the sections often that will get the weight in and never let it out. They never release the weight. You get kids at the backs of the section that never put the weight in. That's why they love to play out here and they love to play over the fingerboard because they can kind of hide in that sound, if you will, and they never have to apply any weight. All right, so let's figure out how to release the weight. This is an exercise, this one that's up here um, is one that um, is out of the violin shula Leopold Mozart uh, wrote a lot of years ago. And basically what it is is this. We can do it on an open string. You put the weight in, pull and release, and you go all down bow. So you go down, down, down. And what I'm doing is I'm pulsing. I'm going, I'm starting with weight, pull, release, pull, release. I'm gradually adding weight in and out. The idea though is you gotta teach them to let the weight out as well as how to put it in.